this Sunday, we're back to ordinary time, which really is not a liturgical season, but it's the counted time, the counted days between the liturgical seasons. And in this winter, we're between the end of the Christmas season and the beginning of Lent and Ash Wednesday in February. So during this time, the Gospels will shift a little bit to stories about discipleship. And today's Gospel in John chapter 1 is the call of those first disciples, two of them in particular. They were followers of John the Baptist. And as I said earlier about in Advent about John the Baptist, his life was always about pointing people to Jesus Christ. And sure enough, his disciples are with him and he sees Jesus and he says, there is the Lamb of God. And whatever else he said to them, those, his followers, two of them left John the Baptist to go and follow Jesus. Jesus, they asked Jesus a question about where do you stay? And, you know, he says, what, what is it that you desire? And they asked Jesus, where do you stay? And he invites them, come and see. The call to discipleship is an invitation to come and see what this way of love is all about. What we know in the Gospels, two of those disciples, one of them is named is Andrew, who happens to be the brother of Simon, who is later known as Peter. The Hebrew name, is, I believe, is pronounced Kephas or Cephas. Uh, we would hear that. But Andrew is so moved that he goes to his brother back to home and says, you've got to come see the anointed one, the Messiah. Andrew is so moved, convinces Peter to go see who this Christ is. And in that scene, Peter comes to follow as well. There is something authentic about being a disciple is the willingness to engage in this question this, and respond to this invitation by Christ. That is kind of at the core of who we are and then acting upon that way of love in our lives. So this week, let's pay attention to how we are like John the Baptist, pointing people to Jesus Christ. Let's also pay attention to how we are a follower of who Christ is. What are the questions that we ask of God and how do we respond in seeking who Christ is in our lives? And lastly, how are we like those first disciples, like Andrew, that are so moved in who Jesus is, we're willing to go tell others and bring others to Christ by, by the very actions and examples of our lives. I'm convinced even more today in our world today that people know who Christ is by our actions that are genuine in love. That's who people come to know who Christ is. So let us pay attention to those three ways we can be more like those followers of Jesus to point our life in the direction of Christ. Like John the Baptist, pointing to Christ. Like the first followers, responding to that invitation of love. And like those first disciples, bringing others by the very actions of our lives. Amen.